who are the Uyghur people? What is their background? Where do they come from? What's their language? Why do we know little, only a little bit about them? 1949, Chinese government came and uh, occupied our country and asked our language to use in the schools. And then they banned us to go to a masjid under the 18. No way to go to masjid. There is uh, the police. They check the, when you go to a masjid, you check your ID, whether you are ID or not. Once they uh, recognize that you have Quran at home, at this uh, for three years sentence. So if you have a Quran at home, yeah, you, they, can, you can go to prison? Yeah, if they know that you kept Quran because it's against the law. Of course, we, we all know now that the Americans offered money, bounty money, to Pakistanis, to Afghanis, to sell people over. So you, like many others, were sold to the United States. And then in the evening when they search, they come, they abuse, they kick us sometimes, they do a lot of things that is not suit for human you know, movement. I stayed there under that situation, conditions for six months. And then after this, they sent you to Guantanamo. Then they put us in the, in the Army Court, U.S. Supreme Court, twice. Mm -hmm. Both times we've been announced that innocent in the verdict of Supreme Court. So, so did you ask them, if you, if you believe we're innocent, why are you keeping us? General came again and uh, put his uh, the hand on my shoulder. Uh, you go to a good place. Uh, what happened to you? Forget. <laughs> so uh, leave everything behind here. So you go to a good place. And did you forget? Uh, can, can you forget? <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Uh, your brother uh, Khalil come from um, Bermuda. Uh, it's an honor to speak to you. You were a former Guantanamo prisoner from the community of. Uh, the Turkestani people or the Uyghurs, um, we don't often come across people of your background uh, here in, in the UK. Uh, people are fascinated by the story of the Uyghurs, of the Uyghur people, the Turkestanis. Um, and even more fascinating is the fact that you were held in Guantanamo Bay with 22 other prisoners. Um, can you just first introduce to me who are the Uyghur people? What is their background? Where do they come from? What's their language? Why do we know little, only a little bit about them? Alhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulullah, nabina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa ala alihi wa sahabi ajma'in, wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsan ila yawmi tina ma ba'ad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Khalil Mahmoud. I was born in, in uh, the East Turkestan. Uh, the Turkestanis, uh, a long time I've been called uh, the uh, Turkestan Sharqiya. We came, uh, actually, we belong to the Turkish tribe, but we distilled from the Turkish tribe. The Turkestan is situated in the, the Middle a Asia, bordered with Uzbekistan, Pakistan, India, and uh, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan. Uh, we been a long time then. We had own, our own uh, independent country, and under the, uh, the leadership of uh, Sheikh Thabit uh, Damullah Haji. Later on, uh, under the conspiracy of uh, Chinese government <coughs> and Russia, our country uh, divided. Uh, divided. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Uh, you know, we belong to so Turkish tribe, we distilled from Turkish the, uh, tribe. Actually, a long time ago, when uh, under the Turkish uh, the Khilafah Empire, uh, when they uh, collapsed, so the, you know, the, 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 the offices, officials over there, they uh, made uh, uh, their own country and then made like uh, East Turkestan. So uh, you, originally, you, the Turkestani people, the Uyghurs, they are the original Turks. Is it right to say that you are yeah, the yeah, original the, Turks? Yeah, they, they're called the Doğu Turkestan, the Old Turk, the original, original, yeah, the Turk. And then the yeah. Turkish, the Turkestani tribes, they <coughs> migrated across Central Asia, 
uh, across Asia Minor and eventually they settled in Turkey, is, is that right? Or, yeah, a, yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, Still, time ago. we are doing that because yeah. of uh, you know Chinese government persecution. Yeah, persecution. And uh, 1949, Chinese government came and uh, occupied our country. Uh, they using the, the the you know the killing of our leaders and officers. And then uh, 1951, the country on the whole Turkestan. Then uh, they changed our language, Uyghur into Latin writing script. Mm -hmm. Then for uh, 25 years, 30 years, from then, you know, the, 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 the old people, they know they at that time passed away, they, uh, so the younger series, they learned the Latin so, writing. So, so the original language of the Uyghur people is a, is a Persian or Arabic script? It's very similar to uh, the Arabic script. Mm. Is 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 like a, a couple uh, the different letters, letters. different, mm -hmm. but very similar to uh, the Arabic letters and the Pakistan letters, like mm. that. in the Urdu. Yeah. 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 Then after uh, thirty years, they change it from Latin to our own language. Oh, I see. Yeah, and then uh, the generation after you know, ninety-nine, they they learned our like Uyghur language. Alhamdulillah. Um, so recently, uh, I mean, I'm going to get on to Guantanamo in a little bit, but recently there's been a lot in the press, in the media about uh, uh, East Turkestan or, or Xinjiang province uh, and the Chinese government crackdown on the Muslim people. Can you tell me why is the, what's the reason for the Chinese government to put this kind of pressure on, on the Muslims, and what is it that they're doing? What are the Chinese government doing? <coughs> you know, the word, uh, our country, as I mentioned, is a, uh, they call Xinjiang, in Arabic, Xinjiang. It means like a new open country, the place. Mm -hmm. the, uh, since they uh, controlled our country, first thing they uh, attacked is uh, like the scholars, and then they they took they killed them the religious scholars yeah, religious scholars mm. that they killed them and then they the, for, as i mentioned temporarily they changed the word that, like a uh, uh, language language to another language, another script, another script yeah. 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 then you know people confused it a little bit then they change, change it to our like uh, the main like, language the reason for Alhamdulillah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed uh, us, blessed our country with uh, resources, you know, the, the natural resources, the, the oil, gold, and the other, like uh, the, the agriculture, horticulture, is other. The, so it's, so it's uh, a rich yeah, country, yeah, it rich has country, a lot of natural yeah. resources. Yeah, since that they are controlled, they talk like transfer every day, like uh, the million, million, like uh, the tank of oil and the other, the gold, other like coal, gas, everything. And then they sell in inner China at the cheapest price. And then even they take these things from our country, they give us the, the high price. And then by the time, uh, the, you know, that we saw something like and just something going wrong, and then we told them it's not right. So we want some justice. We want our own country. Then uh, they didn't like it because, you know, they, they need to this resources because of this. Uh, from every aspect of, uh, you know, the, from politically or, or, or culturally, or they, they uh, try to, uh, you know, to ban it. For example, uh, they ban us uh, our language to use in the schools, and then they ban us to go to a masjid under the 18. No way to go to masjid. There is that the police, they check the, when you go to a masjid, you check your ID whether you are 18 or not. So if you're over 18, you can't go? Uh, under the 18, you can't go. You can't go at all. Yeah, they check. The, there is a, the police, is guard. They so they don't want the youth yeah. to be educated in Islamic uh, no, 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 knowledge no. and science. And then they ban the prayer, keep at home, pray peace, and the Quran. Once they uh, recognize that you have Quran at home, at least uh, for three years sentence. So if you have a Quran at home, yeah, you, they, can, you can go to prison. Yeah, if they know that you kept Quran because it's against the law. And, uh, you know, recently they, uh, they, they issued the new uh, rules, 
in which like it means like brotherhood, uh, sisterhood like that. It means like uh, they bring Chinese Chinese uh, lady or woman or man to uh, the, the Uyghur family. They stay there uh, one week. And then the, the, from that family, one lady or one man go to the, the, the Chinese family stay like... like uh, so, so they take a, a non-Muslim Chinese, Han Chinese or something family, yeah, yeah. bring them into a Uyghur family and, yeah. then, and then they put the Uyghur, Uyghur people into the... And what's the purpose behind the this? The purpose is that, first of all, you know, they are, they are not uh, Muslim. They are not practice. Yeah. First of all, they, they assimilate Uyghurs to... They, Chinese become making become Chinese. Second thing to uh, to uh, an an allied uh, religion. We are Alhamdulillah we are Uyghurs Muslims. Alhamdulillah we are born Muslims. We raised in Muslim family. Alhamdulillah from father to father like so that. So Islam has been in 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 this region for hundreds of years, right? Uh, so the 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 part of the identity of the Uyghur people is that they are Muslims. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Long time ago, Alhamdulillah, we've been uh, Alhamdulillah. Our four pa parents, for uh, mm -hmm. parents, Alhamdulillah, embraced Islam under the uh, under the leadership of Sultan uh, Bora. That meant they embraced Islam under the uh, leadership of uh, they came from the uh, you know the uh, it's long story, many years. Mm -hmm. But Alhamdulillah, the long time ago, under the like. I, I forgot Saad that. bin Abi Waqqas. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Exactly. So the Prophet yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. Islam came to this region from the time of the Sahaba, essentially. Yeah. Yes. Then the Sultan Kubra and the that them leader, mm -hmm. he embraced Islam, and then uh, the he the preached Alhamdulillah, and then people understood, and they embraced Islam. So, so what's happening right now is an uh, an attempt to remove Uyghur culture and religion and faith by imposing Chinese culture? Is that right to say? Yeah, uh, yeah. Do, do, do people who are Uyghurs, do they see themselves as Chinese? Do you consider yourself Chinese um, in terms of who you are as part of your identity? Yeah, I, actually, you know, uh, we are Uyghurs, our, as mentioned, our, the, the, the country, the historic sense, very important for them. And then they are... Uh, Try to analyze Uyghurs from the from the uh, from the, the country, mm -hmm. or assimilate Uyghurs to Chinese, so as to the after in future nobody call uh, himself or herself the Uyghur. The, the, uh, so many uh, like uh, reasons. First of all, in our country is blessed with fires, mentioned with oil, with coal, and yeah. things. Second thing, uh, maybe. For them, they're talking about and uh, analysis that maybe in future we are the Uyghurs came from uh, uh, Turk. Uh, we are very like uh, a distinct nationality, yeah, distinct. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in your own, you, you have your own identity. Yeah, and, and maybe they think in, in future, even we are strong in future, they will jeopardize to mm. us. So, that's a yeah. a fear. so first yeah. of all, we cannot uh, they stop them unless. Uh, we uh, control their religion and uh, the custom like uh, habits and uh, uh, culture. Then we assess in a in few like uh, next uh, 10 years, 15 years. Otherwise, we have no choice. Therefore, like uh, they, uh, they attacked us to uh, put the, first of all, they talk to educated people to the education camp. It means like uh, you know, where uh, to change their uh, mentality. Yeah, this mind. was something yeah, that yeah. was quite common amongst the uh, some communist movements, uh, re-education re programs to re yeah. reprogram somebody's views, their beliefs, their their brain, uh, essentially to brainwash them. Yeah, yeah. It's, and the second, yeah, and the, that one is very worse. Is uh, it means not the education camp? It means like worse than camp, prison. First of all, they put them there. They didn't give them uh, enough water, food, and then they never let them to have uh, the proper tool. And in that case, the, the, the people get sick from inside. The inside some organs, they get disease, poison there. And then uh, they leave them you know, alone. After uh, maybe a couple, five, eight months, if they didn't get the right treatment, right time, 
then they will uh, they, they will die so they had planned every year uh, you know killing Uyghurs 500,000 they said in the uh, this was a plan a plan yeah future in, in the in the next for uh, 10 or uh, 15 years just uh, to wipe them out wipe them out or by the time they assimilate us there is no like uh, the, the Uyghur people are called the yeah. Uyghur people oh my goodness so this is their plan and the second thing uh, the the make brother and sister it means like uh, the forced assimilation yeah, for the assimilation and the second thing that they, they don't uh, the, the recognize the halal haram they don't know so they said uh, once you go once you go to our family what we eat you have to eat so they remove every every aspect of the faith by imposing a a, a culture monoculture that is chinese and it removes any of the aspects of uh, the identity of Uyghur people. Excuse me. Sir. So, it, so it removes the identity of the Uyghur people. Yeah, Uyghur, yeah, yeah. just said uh, yeah. yeah. The... So, okay. So, I, I wanted to ask you. So that's very important to know because then what happens is that you, you like many uh, of the Uyghur people, uh, went to live in Pakistan, Afghanistan to study, to learn your religion, to learn um, other languages, and of course, so people understand it's a bordering country. So. Uh, Xinjiang, as it's called, yeah. Xinjiang, borders with Pakistan, borders with India, uh, does it border with any other countries? I border with uh, the Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan, yeah. Kazakhstan. Alhamdulillah, Uzbekistan, yeah. Okay. So, like, like lots of students, mm -hmm. you know, the, uh, the, because Pakistan, most of the Pakistan border, easy to go there on mm -hmm. bus. So, uh, some uh, students, they understood the, the law there at that time. They uh, left the country, so as to they seek education, and they come back to teach the, the young generations. Mm -hmm. So, some of them, they went to uh, the Pakistan, the Islamabad, they studied there. Some of them, uh, even in the India, some of them, through Pakistan, India, went to uh, Egypt mm -hmm. in order mm -hmm. to uh, yeah. get yeah. education. Okay. So in, in your case, then, um, uh, the, of course, we, we all know now that the Americans offered money, bounty money, to Pakistanis, to Afghanis, to sell people over. So you, like many others, there was 22 uh, Uyghurs were sold to the United States. Yes, actually, I am one of them. Yeah. Actually, 19... Uh, 1990... Yeah, I left home uh, 80, 89. 89, yeah, 89. Okay. Alhamdulillah, I came to Pakistan to mm -hmm. seek education. Yeah. Uh, actually, I've been there uh, for uh, a couple of years. So I started to learn a little bit Arabic and the Urdu and English. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, the, by the time the incident happened, so the September 11th yeah, attacks and yeah, the invasion attacks, of yeah, yeah, yeah. And at that time, the, the Pakistan, the armies collaborated with U.S so as to catch the, uh, the people. Mm -hmm. Then they saw me, I am like a non... I'm not, not a local Muslim, Pakistani. Yeah. Yeah. Local Pakistani. Yeah. Then they saw my, the, my uh, uh, uniform is different. Then, then you know, they took me from there. Mm -hmm. Then they asked me, so what, 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 where are you from? What? I answered them in, uh, the, in Arabic. It's, uh, my, it's and Arabic. That, that was, and then, and that yeah, was enough. Oh, that, that was enough evidence then, for you to, yeah, go, yeah. To, then, to go on oh, to. Oh, this yeah. guy speaks Arabic. Yeah. He has affiliation with, uh, with people. Then, you know, then they uh, sold us. Actually, they, they took me from, uh, from Pakistan. And then uh, they and put us in Pakistan for the 15 days in the uh, army camp there. From there, they took us to uh, Kandahar and they kept us there. Up for. So you were held at the, uh, you were then taken from Pakistani custody sent to American custody at the Kandahar Air Base in, in Afghanistan. Yeah, Afghanistan, yeah, yeah actually. And yeah. you remained there for several months, is that right? Yeah, I, I stayed there for six months, 2002, actually, from, the, from December to uh, June. Uh, and you, gone, you, you were subjected to all the, the, the abuse, the stripping naked, beating, and, and uh, uh, 
violation of human rights, all of this stuff you, you went yeah, through? Yeah, actually it was, yeah. When, uh, when they search, when they give food, when they take number, they, you know, they talk, they, they, they abuse us. When we go to take shower, they, 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 they force us to take off our clothes. We have a couple of group of brothers there. And then in the evening when they search, they come, they abuse, they kick us sometimes, they do a lot of things that is not suit for human, you know, movement. Yeah. I stayed there under that situation, conditions for six months. And then after this, they sent you to Guantanamo? Yeah, after six months, yeah. I was taken to Guantanamo Bay. Um, I mean, I know that much has been recorded about what happened in Guantanamo and, and much has been said, including through my own story, but uh, it's interesting, you and the other Turkistanis or the Uyghurs were sent eventually to Camp Iguana. And now most people don't know what Iguana, Camp Iguana was. Um, so can you explain a little bit why were you sent to Camp Iguana? Yeah, yeah. actually, uh, the, when we went to Guantanamo Bay, we've been uh, the many, many times the, the interrogations. And then we told our story. We, we, are, we, are, we are, we are, we are from uh, the why we are here. These things. Then they understood our situation. Then they told us, "Oh, you know that you are in front of the door. When you knock the door, you will be free." These things like that. It, it so, was, so they felt that you were innocent already. Innocent, there. yeah, and yeah. This was told to you by the interrogators, by yeah, the soldiers. By soldier on the interrogators, and, and the this soldier. was told to you early on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then. Uh, after that, you know, we are we were waiting for the. So, so did you ask them if you if you believe we're innocent, why are you keeping us? Did they, did they explain that? The, uh, we told them that this. They said that, uh, uh, at the time, you know, the, the couple of years, no interrogation. Even you asked for the the, inter, the interrogators to oh, come. So you would ask for an interrogation. Yeah, you why get you an are here? Because the, the interrogator last time we told us you are the free. You are just in front of the door. When you not to the door, you will go. Then we, nothing came. Then we asked. They didn't come after like a, Alhamdulillah, brother, one after brother who released, who uh, gave our uh, names to the uh, the lawyer, mm -hmm. the U.S. Alhamdulillah. Then the lawyer, lawyer came uh, in the middle of 2006, and then he met us, and then uh, the, the process started. And then they 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 took us our like. Uh, the, Application to the, our, our, our to court why they uh, fight for on behalf of those 20 Uyghurs. Then they put us in the, the army court, US Supreme Court, twice. Mm -hmm. Both times we've been announced that innocent in the verdict of Supreme Court. So they took your case to the Supreme Court and yeah. there they, they, they said that you're not guilty of any crime, no, no, you're any innocent, crime, nothing, but yeah. still you remain in prison. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, they put us in uh, Iwana camp where like, innocent people like us uh, stay there. So, so people understand this. Uh, initially you were in the different blocks, different camps with other prisoners, but then they sent you to Camp Iguana, and Camp Iguana was a place where they kept innocent people. Oh, yeah, exactly. Where they declared yeah. these people are innocent, yeah, yeah, and yeah, you were amongst yeah. them. Yeah, because all of 22 Uyghurs, yeah. they announced, uh, you know, the, the, the innocent in the verdict of Supreme Court in U.S. And also in Camp Iguana, you had the children, is that correct? You had uh, Omar al-Khadr, you had Muhammad al-Gharani, who were under uh, underage children. Yeah, we have, uh, that means Omar al-Qadr. Yeah. Omar al-Qadr. Now, no, Umar Qadir, we had uh, Muhammad uh, Sumu. Uh, al Gharani. Al Gharani, yeah. youngest one. Other one, the Akhuna brother, uh, Am Akhbar. Mm -hmm. At that time, he was, and even in Saint, the, uh, and the Sheikh Sabr. I don't know his uh, real name, but the, mm -hmm. there we call him Sheikh Sabr. So, so they had people that are innocent and people that were young, younger people there in Camp Iguana, and your conditions were a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, our condition from the like uh, go outside from food from uh, the clothes and the, the, the more better than other camps mm -hmm. the one because it's uh, the camp for innocent people like me like uh, like those brothers alhamdulillah we had like the access to book more than them uh, mm -hmm. we had access to, uh, uh, clothes and uh, play on football a little bit a little bit small area but yeah, you know, running, a little bit yeah, more freedom yeah. And then we eat two other calm, yeah, like yeah. that. So, I mean, one of the things I found really strange and amazing over a period of several years, the, the 22 Uyghurs were all released. 
but um, they were sent to so many different countries. Uh, there were some sent to uh, Albania, others were sent to Palau, which is an island 500 miles off the coast of the Philippines. Some were sent to Switzerland and some were even sent to El Salvador in, in uh, Central America. And you eventually were sent to Bermuda. Can, can you explain why were the Uyghurs sent to all of these places that were so far away and not connected to their, uh, them in any way at all? Uh, the for, the, for, for us, to Bermuda, there is a little bit of story mm -hmm. that happened actually when we were uh, in Camp Iguana. Uh, the lawyers tried, uh, actually the U.S. tried to take two of us to uh, uh, U.S. Then uh, they added to me and the other my. The other so there was a whole there. movement in the U.S. itself that yeah. tried to the, the four uh, of us, yeah. for, for four of you to yeah. be brought to the to yes to, yeah. to be brought yeah. to Washington D.C. Washington yeah. D.C. Yeah. yeah, and even they sent plane. Then plane landed already there. So you were ready to actually take yeah. the plane and go to to yeah. America? Unless uh, we sign under the ten conditions. And these conditions, what did they include? The conditions like that. Uh, first of all, they put the, the ring in our... The, the so they, they were going to put a tag on your leg? A tag on our, yeah. Wherever we go, uh, they, uh, they can monitor, they can see us, they can listen to us. Uh, yes. So this is the kind of thing that they put generally on people who are convicted prisoners or convicted criminals. Uh, so that's what they wanted to... Yeah, so I told them, you guys, and they announced me innocent, and then you, you try to take the U.S. Why you put this... Uh, the, things in my, my our mm -hmm. foot so and the second thing only we can live in uh, Washington DC we can uh, live you then, can't leave outside yeah, Washington and right? then they said if uh, we have you guys uh, behave yourself good then we move on each condition within three months if uh, people above they decide to move mm -hmm. otherwise it stays like that then we will think uh, they pay for something like that after that then I told them this is like uh, we are still in prison Means you asked me for us like an um, open prison. Still, we are under the confinement. So initially, so, th th they even though they've said you're innocent, they kept you in prison in, Gu in Guantanamo. They've given you better conditions, but still mm -hmm. you're innocent. Yeah. And then even though you're innocent, they want to put conditions on you, which they would normally put on criminals and guilty people. And so, how did you react to this? So then uh, I told them, so you, th you guys uh, the announcement as innocent, then you take us to uh, put things like that over there. What is the difference like uh, the, the for, between innocent people and guilty people? Like you consider me as a, a criminal, so we don't want to go. We don't want to sign. The, oh, the lawyers, so like the lawyers wanted us to sign. So as to they, you know. and then even the, the general state told us, hey, it's a good place. No, no, we don't know. We don't want interest. Then where do you want to go? I told them I don't want three places. First of all, Jahannam. <laughs> I don't want to go hellfire. I don't want to go there. Second, China. Third thing, the U.S. Because not uh, there is uh, disrespectful because uh, friends we have a lot of friends. Even my lawyer from U.S. Hmm. It means like uh, still uh, if I go there under the confinement, I don't want that. I don't want interest. D did you feel if they would have sent you to America that you would have been welcomed? As somebody who is in Guantanamo, do you think that you would have been uh, there would have been lots of problems for you in America if you would have gone there? Uh, uh, it is uh, if I if I went there, maybe I welcomed by uh, a certain people by my Uyghur community there. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it is a future thing I don't know, but mm -hmm. uh, in the in the side of uh, like uh, the conservative people, maybe. It's a little bit uh, hard, mm. you know, for us to... I mean, just so people understand, yeah. there was a whole movement that, that uh, a petition, a campaign to have you brought over to America, and it included ordinary American people. Uh, but no, not a single former Guantanamo prisoner has ever walked on American soil as a free man. It's never happened. So Guantanamo prisoners have gone all over the world, but none of them have gone, have gone to America as a free person. Yeah. So just explain to me, um, how did you then, how, why did they choose Bermuda for you and then how did you end up going there? Yeah, then uh, after that meeting, we didn't sign, we didn't trust you going to US, we didn't yeah. uh, sign there. Then uh, after a couple of weeks, I think uh, the 19 reporters came, yes, we are um, high classic reporters, the chief like that. Then uh, the camp of OIC, they came to the, the officer the, in charge. Office, yeah, camp, yeah. yeah. Told me, hey, and, uh, we got uh, some reporters. 
when they come, uh, just uh, don't talk to them. Even if you talk, they will they will not talk to you. And so just uh, be normal like that. Mm -hmm. They told, oh, okay, no problem. Let them come, come, and we don't talk. Then uh, I told my the brothers over there, so look, the report is coming, so we have to do something like that. Like what? At that time, uh, we, uh, we've been given the, uh, the paper big to draw some type of pictures, you know, flowers like that. Then, then I wrote Latin like that. The America is double Hitler. We have been no press. In, uh, you said America is as double Hitler. Yeah. yeah. Why, why did you feel that? <laughs> because, you know, they even uh, uh, they understood our situation and then they uh, announced us twice, you know, innocent. innocent. And they still, they kept us in, in that. Even even Iguana campus for innocent people is prison. It's still prison. Yeah, yeah, prison. So how long did you spend then in Guantanamo in total or in American custody? How long did you spend in? Uh, Svalla is amazing. I went there 2002, uh, June 10. Subhanallah, 2009, June 10, I left. Oh, on the same yeah, day? Yeah, same time. Yeah, so exactly seven years. Yeah. And uh, 2011 in the morning, uh, we arrived to Bermuda. And what was your reaction? I mean, wh what did you know about Bermuda? When they said Bermuda to you, what, was, what did you first think? Uh, you know, it's, there's a little bit of story. Then after, like, uh, the, we demonstrated the over there, and then it was on the news at that time. It was, it came a little bit pressure upon U.S. So then at that time, the president of uh, the Bermuda was in, uh, in the U.S. Then uh, the U.S. government spoke to him so as about us, that we have a couple of Uyghurs, what do you think? So those four then, of you yeah, together? Yeah. yeah. Then that man says, okay. Then he called a couple of ministers, uh, I think. The, uh, the lawyers told me. He called a couple of lawyers, in my, the ministers in Bermuda. They arranged some things. Then uh, they let know the lawyers. Our lawyers say, Ben Villet, uh, Susan Baker, and other, uh, Jason Penny. So then... Uh, once the, everything is confirmed, everything is organized well, well organized, you know, then they called us, then saying, you guys going to <coughs> Bermuda Triangle, Bermuda. And then then uh, I called, where, where is the Bermuda? Bermuda Triangle. Oh, no, Bermuda Muthalas, Bermuda Triangle. I don't want to go to a strange place. You want me to <laughs> so you thought this, they're going to send you to this Bermuda uh, yeah, Triangle place, yeah. which is another nice place yeah, to go to. Yeah, I don't want to go there. I don't want to be disappear over there. I, I, I heard a lot of stories. They said, no, no, no. Bermuda is a good place and, and belongs to England. It's a, a very pretty island. I mm. can tell you, like, I told them, send us some like, maps, some pictures, something like that, if we can see them. So he told us, no, everything is organized, so you will go there. Then, uh, you know, the, the we, we first time, before that, we never knew about the, the Bermuda Triangle. We never mm -hmm. knew. Just we heard the Bermuda Triangle, but that uh, island, we didn't know that. Then after uh, five days, uh, we were uh, uh, talking afternoon around uh, 3 p.m. So the, the camp OIC and the men charged in camp came. Uh, <coughs> the, he told you to yeah, get your told, stuff yeah, ready to yeah, get yeah. Pack up your stuff within 45 minutes. Then I told them, why, why, what happened? Also, we have stuff, why we pack up? Then you go somewhere else. Then I told them, where we go? So, like, look, everything is arranged. I, I, I can tell you, I don't know where you go, but the uh, order came from above. You have to pack up your stuff within 45 minutes. Uh, then then uh, the, we understood that uh, we move. Because uh, we had phone call with lawyers, he told us everything arranged, even came So you knew you were going to leave yeah, now? Yeah. yeah. So then you, do, you, you wanted to say uh, goodbye, salam alaikum uh, to the brothers? Then, then we told the brothers, you know, that the camp always say, so uh, I think we move. Even the lawyers told us in Bermuda, we didn't know Bermuda exactly where, look at where is. So, and he said, that if we don't pack up, they will pack up anyway, because everything is organized. But we have no choice. Not, not that you have much to pack up. Yeah, right? yeah, we have nothing. <laughs> just a uh, couple of pants, couple of shorts, like mm. couple of t-shirts, and the Quran, our box, and that's it. Alhamdulillah, brothers, you know, they packed our Quran, our clothes, couple of t-shirts, things like that. Then uh, we say sorry if we say something, say something like uh, loudly or something wrong, please. 
Sorry, Blaise. Was it a very Forgive. sad time for you? Yeah. It was, yeah, because yeah. you know, we are... Because you're leaving all behind all of the others. Brother, yeah, so then, you know, we were sad, but uh, we have no option, you know, we're still, uh, even in the center of prisoners, so then, uh, uh, we left, they, they took us to a uh, the clinic there where they, they examined our body, our, you know, the, the fingerprint, mm -hmm. something like that. And then they put us in camp three. We stayed there for a couple hours. Then then they come to move the, around like 11, the PM, the general came. So you guys going to move right now. You go to a good place. What happened here? Forget. They want you to forget yeah, seven years. <coughs> yeah, they said, hey, I still remember what happened to you, forget. Anyway, you go to a good place. Uh, when you go there, behave yourself and do good things. I hope you will integrate there or there, so everything will be fine. Then, uh, the, we, the, actually, they put us shackle, that the chain, Again? the thing, then, you know, so the general, general told the unshackle them, take so, out, yeah. <laughs> Then he went airport with us and bus together, mm. and then uh, when uh, we got down from bus, I, I saw a lot of people there, like reporters, journalists, and the minister. This is still in Guantanamo. In yeah, Guantanamo, mm -hmm. yeah, in mm -hmm. airport. At the airport, yeah. Yeah, the, I saw the, the minister of Bermuda and the minister of U.S. and our lawyer, interpreter, all in small jet. Then uh, the general came again and to put his uh, the hand on my shoulder. Uh, you go to a good place, uh, what happened to you, forget. <laughs> so uh, leave everything behind here, so you go to a good place. And did you forget? Uh, <laughs> can, can you forget? <laughs> it was, you know, the, in the first years, it was a little bit hard, the, the, anyway, uh, uh, you know, the uh, brothers are there, mm -hmm. how it's hard, but anyway, I force ourselves to forget that. Uh, Alhamdulillah, you know, that we, uh, next day, we came to Bermuda. So how did you feel? How, how did you and the other brothers with you, how did you, what did you do when you arrived in, in, in Bermuda? What was your you know, immediate feeling? Yeah, when we are uh, about landing the Bermuda airport, you know, the, uh, uh, we saw the ocean mm -hmm. windows. Everything is very like our first time. It's like a dream. Say, yeah, dream. Like very like, a, is from one side strange, from other side, alhamdulillah, we are happy because we left that place. Mm. A third thing, even uh, you know, we little bit like like in thinking thoughts, we little bit not really settled well. Mm. So uh, a little bit nervous. Yeah, nervous. Yeah, mm. yeah. So we landed in the morning, then uh, the, the ministers, they did the paperwork there. Then they uh, put us in a guest, uh, guest house, in a, uh, a clear view, a Channel Bay Beach over there in mm -hmm. Bermuda, yeah. where we stayed almost uh, three weeks. Uh, after three days after our arrival, a lot of reporters from BBC, Fox News, CNN, a lot of people came, you know, to talk, to interview. Oh, this was probably the most, uh, uh, the most famous thing that happened in Bermuda for many, many years, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, even, uh, you know, we saw like more than like maybe 15 people, you know, the cameras like that. Even we surprised what we have done, why we like that. We have a normal person. So... We left home with good intention. Now we are here, like made us very famous. Was then uh, we refused to, but anyway, you know, the, we have to talk because then uh, by the time you know, the there are a little bit problem between uh, 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 Bermudians and politicians and uh, 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 Premier uh, Dr. Brown mm -hmm. at that time, he was president of Bermuda now because the uh, US asked help from uh, the president to take us. Then the, that man uh, helped the U.S. and then accept us. The, he brought us to uh, Bermuda. And the people upset with him, saying that it's okay, we don't have any problems with the for. But they wanted US, consultation. Yeah, they yeah. wanted consultation. Why you, you act like there is no good. The Bermuda is like open country. At least you have to tell us, you have to take consultation with uh, 
offices mm. or ministries and you should know you should let know the governance so as to you know that then that man is very the smart man he don't talk to them openly then the yes the US asked help I help them because mm. always you ask very closest the, the country for us anything we bring we bring from US you are very friendly in business in everything mm -hmm. in importing something like that so uh, uh, they asked help I help it I did humanitarian work action movement that's it mm -hmm. then uh, people after you know the they started to passing, yeah, start coming slowly out, started to slowly, yeah. so t tell me how how is the um, I mean it's it, it's amazing to me if you think about it that these you you your Uyghurs you come from you're captured in Pakistan, Afghanistan by the Americans. Then you're taken to Cuba. And then from Cuba, you're taken to Bermuda. It's such an international story that, um, and you didn't do any of this by yourself. It just happened to you. You didn't, you didn't choose it. It just was done to you. Yes, final law is sometimes things happen beyond expectation. Uh, is even even we suppose we sometimes we talk about then we we, we born in uh, East Turkestan, and then we came the, to seek knowledge and then 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 then, then and Afghanistan and then uh, Cuba and, and prison and uh, here we had family we have kids we have jobs yeah. sometimes after Salat sometimes when we come together we talked about you know the background a little bit uh, how the the Allah Subhanahu wa Taala's plan work yeah. like proper like like that so um, I mean we don't have much time left but there's, there's uh, a couple of things one is that of course there's there's a very painful story as well here because some of the brothers or one of the brothers at least was was married and he had to uh, uh, he couldn't be reunited with his wife um, but in the opposite side all of you now mashallah have got married you have children and you have your lives there um, how does it feel like now to be a citizen of Bermuda what does it how did the Bermudes, Bermudans welcome you and how do you feel there now? Uh, do you feel like an accepted person there and that it is home? Yeah, alhamdulillah, it was when we talk about the other brother who married and uh, you know, had kids, uh, when we arrived here, we, we mentioned to bring his wife. It was uh, impossible for him to bring his wife, his kids. Because she was yeah, still she in China. Was in China, yeah. Then we tried a couple of times, uh, got a letter from the government. It, it, it didn't happen. It didn't take place. Then finally, they he married to another lady. They decided to separate. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, so he has no option. And so he's still not seen his no, son. No, no wife. Now that is a kid. I think it's, it is the ex-wife married because uh, yeah. there is, there is like, the, the, the yeah. they were separating. Like. Yeah. So, and then, uh, you know, after him, the other uh, brother married. And we all, we all, for all of us married, the alhamdulillah, we had family, we had uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed of us uh, with kids. Uh, in, in the beginning, we were worried about a little bit because the uh, Bermuda government didn't, even the kids born there, they didn't give uh, nationality. nationality. <coughs> and then uh, uh, my uh, oldest son, Abdullah, he got sick, pneumonia, in 2014 after uh, the hurricane. And then he, we had... Uh, surgery in the hospital it didn't, didn't work it came the negative then he needs to go to overseas and overseas to get right treatment then uh, uh, doctors organized to take him to a Bermuda Canada in, in, in sick hospital in Toronto mm -hmm. but the uh, Canada immigration stopped even for medical treatment yeah, medical treatment is okay for kids but uh, his mother has to have a visa. So then, uh, uh, then I went to uh, uh, the Bermuda government office. So look, they stopped his mother. The, the guy is like 17, 18 months, 16 months old. I, we, we can send him alone. Or both parents mm -hmm. is alive. It's not, yeah. it, it, uh, even I, I never let him go alone. So give me some type of paper. Then uh, I, to I talked to them. They said, no, it's not up to us. It's up to London. We can't, our hand is tied, we can't help you, I'm sorry. Then uh, finally, alhamdulillah, I went to lawyer, lawyer at the, uh, you know, the submit the visa application, alhamdulillah, Canada government issued a visa for my wife. And then they traveled so and they went. Then uh, by the time, 
They I got treatment uh, the for temporary from the hospital. Mm -hmm. Then they send small jab. Then they took my alhamdulillah, care, alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. So it seems. I mean, from from all, from what I've heard about many of the prisoners who've been returned to many different countries all over the world, that you your acceptance, your life in Bermuda has, by Allah's grace, been been something that's good. That's it, uh, you, you've been welcomed there. Yeah, alhamdulillah, yeah, all Uyghurs, they, they send like different uh, the countries, for example, like for us, in, you know, uh, the Bermuda, to us in Switzerland, alhamdulillah, I, I consider they are good, alhamdulillah, good place. Mm -hmm. But others in the Pulo, in Albania, in Slovakia, El Salvador, El Salvador, El Salvador yeah. uh, and uh, those places are very They've like... They've been uh, struggling a lot. Yeah, struggling like them yeah. from like uh, economic, uh, from other side, yeah. Because... Uh, Western countries, you know that they are very open and uh, mm. uh, they they have more like and they know they is good uh, from other side. Yeah, Those yeah. countries and like uh, they have a lot uh, still oppressive uh, towards them. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then uh, the first thing they they, they put uh, to his here to his there so as to and they don't have not really like uh, uh, the trading with Chinese government. Mm -hmm. So they they. They accept it. So they've sent them the, to countries that yeah, don't have a relationship, a relationship with, China. with China. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But uh, some countries, Western countries, they have like a, like big, big, like a multi-million like business. Mm -hmm. So they are uh, they okay. don't, uh, accept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've nearly come to the end. I just want to ask you one more question, and really, and that is that: Do you have any? A, a, your your experience has been fascinating, and uh, you. One of the things that people say often uh, about Guantanamo prisoners is that they should be angry. Why are they not angry about what happened to them? You got tortured, you got abused, you got violated, you got imprisoned without any pr problem. Why aren't you angry? Say again, please. Uh, after all of the things that happened to you, should you be angry? You know, it is uh, is uh, my destination that has been written before I born that the Islam is not like not Islam is not uh, came with not uh, angry with a uh, you know, problem Islam is came with uh, forgiveness or love you know with peace so uh, it's my destination it's my faith uh, been written already so that thing it doesn't help me either me and either other side the the best thing is if I forgive, uh, you know, I forget it would be you know, good for yeah. both sides because Islam uh, recommends us to make peace, to make, uh, you know, the, to uh, make peace between uh, people, between brothers, between... You know, in the first place, you have to have peace inside yeah, your own inside, heart. First of all, yeah, you know, the, uh, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Final one thing is that have you got any message? Is that if there's something you'd like to say to uh, Muslim people, non-Muslim people, what would you like to say to them? Oh, MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah, and with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I had a chance to come to London, Alhamdulillah, I came, I met brothers here, Alhamdulillah, then I came here, I saw the, that uh, beautiful big masjid, Alhamdulillah, and the small students, MashaAllah, they came out from the masjid. I saw, when I saw them, uh, I, I, I felt myself, I was in a Muslim country, mashallah. I saw the office brothers doing mashallah. It's very like fantastic for mashallah. I felt I am in, really in a in a in a the Muslim country in a, because of the lot the Muslims around here stick together, love each other. Alhamdulillah. Mashallah. That, that's you know, a great really message. Really excited, and impressed, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Well, it's been a pleasure speaking to you, and I pray that Allah subhanahu wa taala allows you to return back to us many times that the other brothers come here, that you go to uh, the Bayt at Hat of Allah, you do Hajj, you do Umrah, and that Allah accepts it from you, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes you successful in the future, inshallah. Amen. Thank, thank you so much for all of us. Thank you so much.